What's up guys, what's going on? It's Dread and I am back with another video. We're on Madden 22 and today I got the San Francisco 49ers. Unfortunately, Raheem Mostert got hurt over the weekend. That's super sad, I love Mostert. He's super fun to watch, seems like a really good guy. But Elijah Mitchell came in for him and he balled out. He had over 100 yards and a touchdown, including like a 38 yard touchdown run. Great, great game from him. He looked super solid. So we're going to hop in and see how he can do for the 49ers as they're starting running back for the rest of the season. Um, I also went out and I got Trent Sherfield up there in the depth chart. I think as he should be. Um, I think he's actually technically number two. So we'll just go with it for now. Um, I'm really excited for a lot of these young guys. For the sake of the rebuild, I'm going to put Lance in instead of, uh, instead of Garoppolo. But I know Garoppolo will probably start for at least a while longer. Um, but I really, really like this team across the board, really, except for maybe Banks at right guard. But even he can develop. He's a rookie, too. Um, I feel really good about this team. I think we're going to make the playoffs year one. I think there's a good chance we make the Super Bowl year one. But we'll see how it goes. Um, if you guys enjoy content like this, please drop a like, drop a sub. I am putting stuff out like this left and right. Uh, the support really means the world to me. I'd appreciate it a ton if you guys would. Um, if not, just keep clicking on the videos. I'm going to keep putting them out. Let's see how this first season goes. All right, first season was unfortunately not the greatest. We're just seven and 10, but I think we all know this team's gonna be a lot better um, once the players develop, once Lance gets better. So we're gonna hop into the off season. We're gonna try to fix this team and then we're gonna play the next season and hopefully we make the playoffs then. Let's get started. All right, we're at the first week of free agency. There's really not a lot that we want. I kind of threw out some offers on guys that we really don't need, but I'm just kind of hoping because why not? Uh, we do get Gronk. We don't get Von Miller. I ain't too worried about it. I'm fine with that. We're going to go to the draft now, and we'll see what we can do in the draft. All right, starting the draft. We're hopping into it. I don't know what pick we're going to have. We don't have a first-round pick. Right. Okay, that's really tough. That's unfortunate. Kind of forgot about that. That complicates things a lot. We'll see what we can do here. I don't know what I'm going to do anymore, honestly, but hopefully there's someone decent. Honestly, I think Justin Ross would be a good pick. So we're just going to do it. I don't think he's great in this draft class, but I think he'd fit. Oh, he's not bad. He's not bad. I think he fits well, too. Let's get that big play, like big, uh, big size receiver for, uh, for Trey Lance to throw to rather than all the smaller guys. Uh, there's not going to be any other picks that are worth it. That's really unfortunate. We're basically going to be re relying on our guys developing. Um, but hopefully they did, and hopefully we're in the playoffs. Honestly, I have faith the 49ers roster is really, really good. So I think we'll be in the playoffs, and I'll see you guys there. All right, second season with the 49ers is so much better. 14-3. and three. Finally, we, like, hit what I expected. You know, I was expecting us to be really good. We finally were really good. Trey Lance, 4,400 yards and 30 touchdowns. That's solid. 12 picks is a bit much, but not bad. 10 touchdowns for Mitchell, 12 for Sermon. Not a lot of rushing for Lance. That's sad. Kittle, phenomenal year. Shocking. Sherfield, solid. Debo, pretty, pretty solid. Ayuk, eh, but not bad. Defensively, Dre Greenlaw, great year. Fred Warner slacking for his standards. Uh, Verrett's back. That was also so sad seeing Verrett get hurt. That that one hurt, man. He keeps getting hurt. He's such a talented player, but he just can't stay healthy. It's so sad. 14 sacks for Bosa is great. Not much for Armstead or Kinlaw or Ebukam. That's all pretty sad, but oh well. Uh, where's D Ford at? D Ford do anything for us? I can't even find Ford. Maybe he retired too. I didn't even realize that uh, Trent Williams retired. I was like, what? That's such a big loss. But uh, we're gonna upgrade players and get into the first playoff game. Let's see if we can get a win and see if we can make it to the next week. All right, first game is against the Washington football team. I feel pretty good. I think we can take them. Much better record. Uh, let's see if we get the win though. That's all we're uh, looking for. We do get the win. Let's go. That's one win. We're gonna upgrade players and get into the next. All right, we got the Packers. That's a tough matchup. Rodgers and Devontae, they're killer. But uh, other than that, I think our team's pretty much better. Maybe Jair Alexander, too. We do get the win, though, and now we got the Cowboys. We're going to have great players and get into it. All right, it is San Francisco versus Dallas, a classic matchup. Uh, I think our roster's better, but they won more games. It's a close one, but we get the win. Let's go. We're in the Super Bowl. I'm going to hop in and start playing this game. Let's go. 
All right, all right, all right, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. We are hopping into the Super Bowl here. All about the young guys on offense, specifically Mitchell. So we're not going to get to play defense. We need our defense to stand up against the Chiefs, and that is no easy task. We do get some help from a penalty, but they convert anyways, and they're going to score a touchdown on us on the first drive. Time to come out and match it, though. Time to come out and match it, though. Uh, let's see. I want to start off with Mitchell right away. Let's see if we can pound the rock. I went out and got Gronk, another great blocking tight end. Um, honestly, that was the main reason why I picked him up. And right there, right off the bat, good run for Elijah Mitchell. This man in the first game, he looked like he could be the real deal. He really did. He had speed, balance, strength, everything it takes to be a good running back. And obviously in Shanahan's system, he makes running backs look way better than they even are. So... I'm super excited to watch him. I picked him up in one of my fantasy leagues. I managed to get him on waivers. I was excited about that. Um, I, I really hope this guy's got something good. I love the 49ers. I have for a long time now. And they're finally, finally seeming like a good team. And they they might have some exciting players to watch this next uh, these next few years. If Mitchell turns into something like he might be able to, I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. He's starting out okay right here. We've gone four runs, picked up a first down, and gotten ourselves to a third and three. We're going to throw the football here with Trey Lance. Let's see what he can do. I honestly don't know how good he is right now. And Debo Samuel drops the pass on third down. It's third and three in the Super Bowl, down against the Chiefs. I think the 49ers go for this, honestly. I really do. You can't, you can't let the Chiefs get a big lead. We're going to slant Samuel in and try to hit someone in this bunch formation. It's gonna be Sherfield. He makes the catch. He's got room to go. Oh, he doesn't quite go all the way, but it's a 31 yard gain on the first completion of the day. Trent Sherfield and Elijah Mitchell are already making a big impact. There's two guys who going into this season, I did not expect to be playing much for this team, but throughout the preseason, throughout training camp, they won their spots and they genuinely won them. There's a lot of good competition in San Fran for these positions. These guys are going up against some stud players, and they still earned their spots. That's pretty awesome to see, in my opinion. Um, it's also sad to see, like, Trey Sermon was a healthy scratch. Uh, now Mostert's hurt. It's always tough to see a guy playing because of that. But I love the fact that Mitchell's out there playing his heart out and winning games for this team. Good carry there by Mitchell again. He picks up another first down. He's got seven carries for 34 yards, and he has us all the way down in the red zone already. Let's see if we can score here, and let's see if we can run the clock out so the Chiefs don't have time to score. I don't want to give them a chance at all, um, and I don't think we're going to here. So how are y'all feeling about this 49ers offense? The offense, it looked phenomenal. Ooh, ooh, cut it back upfield. Good carry from Mitchell right there. He's got us all the way down to the three-yard line. Uh, week one, this offense looked really, really good. They dropped over 40 points. Granted, it's against the Lions, and the Lions defense is not great. Uh, sorry, Lions fans, it's just not. I think you guys know that too. Um, but they, uh, the 49ers offense, it really hit on all cylinders. Debo was balling out. Uh, Garoppolo was finding people left and right. Kittle had a solid game. The run game was great. Lance threw his first career touchdown. All stuff you love to see. Um, I think they looked really good. I really do. I'm excited to see what they do in this next uh, next week. They do have a, in my opinion, very easy start to the schedule right there. That was definitely defensive holding. They don't get the call. We're going to have to run another play, and we're going to go for it because we're on the three-yard line against the Chiefs. You have to go for it. Um, but, yeah, they're, uh, they have an easy start to the schedule, which I think is really good. We're going to run it in with Trey Lance. Touchdown, Lance. His first touchdown in the Super Bowl. You love to see it. Let's go, baby. Good start. Good start. Um, but yeah, their, uh, their offense, it, it hit though, it hit, and it's going to have the chance to really get into its groove. It's just the 49ers health, man, that's always their problem is staying healthy. You gotta, gotta, gotta stay healthy. We'll see what happens with them this year. It's, they've had some tough injuries already. Dre Greenlaw is going up uh, and getting a procedure done on his, I think, groin. Um, Mostert's out with the chipped cartilage in his knee. He's done for the year. Uh, Justin, Justin, Jason Verrett. Uh, why am I spacing? Is that actually his name? What is happening to me right now? It's Jason Verrett, right? Why is this sounding weird to me? That doesn't sound right. I don't know what's happening. It's got to be, right? Yeah, it's Jason Verrett. I don't know why that didn't sound right to me for a second, but it didn't. Um, but he tore his ACL. I, he's such a good player. So much talent there, but he just gets hurt so much. It's so sad. 
Um, I don't know if the 49ers are going to do a corner now, honestly. Um, I know they've got uh, Lenore. I, I hope I'm saying his name right there. Uh, I think it's Lenore, though. He's been balling out for them. He played, I think, almost all the snaps on defense uh, this last weekend, and he don't think he allowed a catch, or maybe allowed a catch for like three yards or something. So anyways, he looks like he's got some crazy potential. Uh, but outside of him, I don't know what the 49ers are going to do. So that'll be... It'll be interesting to see what they uh, what they come up with. There's Ayuk, another really interesting player. Really didn't play much this last weekend, and I expected him to be a stud playmaker for him this year. And he just wasn't out on the field. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him. I know he had some drops. I saw a few of them in preseason, and I was not impressed myself. But he's still got a ton of talent. They know he can make plays. So I was surprised to see him get benched. But I'm sure we'll see him back out on the field soon. And can we talk about Elijah Mitchell right now? He is balling out for us. I'm super, super excited for that. Uh, let's see Trey Sermon cut it upfield. His first carry in the Super Bowl goes for six. I expect to see him a good bit this week, uh, especially with Mostert out. Maybe they stick with Hasty and uh, Mitchell. I don't know what we'll see, but I'm expecting to see Sermon back out on the field. And Kittle's wide open across the middle. Trey Lance finds him. Solid pickup right there. We're moving the ball really, really well, and we're already at the end of the third quarter. I think we got this game in the bag. But yeah, please let me know what you guys think about this 49ers offense. I want to hear y'all's opinions. I'm really curious for it. This division is so much fun to watch. I, I just think it's great football, man. I think it's great, great football. But I want to hear what you guys are thinking about the 49ers. We finally get taken down for a loss. That's not good. That's a bad time for it. Two yards loss there for Mitchell. We got to find a way to score here if we want to win this game. We cannot give the ball back to Mahomes if we don't have a seven-point lead. Come on, Mitchell. Ooh, get up. Ah, just, just missed that seam. But he drags guys for a lot of yards there. Mitchell is a workhorse right now for us. This guy, he's he's really solid. We're going to try to go to go to George Kittle here, the king of the middle. And, oh, no, not quite. We're going to throw it away. We have to. We got to take the field goal here. We have to. I'm not happy about that, but that's definitely the smart move. Oh, they convert on fourth down. Please stop them. Stop them. They don't get the touch. We got a chance to win this game. Let's go. Let's go. Defense makes a huge stand, and we get the ball back with three timeouts and a minute 19 left. Uh, we're going to try to hit Sherfield right off the bat here. We may also go to Kittle. Yeah, Sherfield is open on the sideline. Dot from Trey Lance. Good catch from Trent Sherfield. We just covered like half the ground we needed to in one play. What a play. He was wide open. It's too easy if he's that open. Uh, let's see what we can do. We're going to try to try to move the ball here still. I still have two clock on, but that's fine because we don't need too much time to get this done, I don't think. Debo Samuel, it's another dime from Trey Lance. We move the ball all the way down. They're calling timeouts for us now, man. We move the ball all the way down into field goal range easily. Let's see if we can make it a little bit easier on Gould, though. Uh, we don't want to put too much pressure on him. We're going to go to Kittle or Ayuk here, depending on where Tyran Matthew goes. It's Ayuk. Easy touchdown. And Trey Lance misses him. Trey Lance misses Ayuk for the walk-in game ender dang i called my shot before the play it was wide open and we're still not able to get the conversion Ayuk's open right here again though he makes up for the bad throw lance hits him in stride we're gonna call the timeout ah man that's tough that's that really hurts it does uh we're gonna see if we can score still though i really don't want to don't want to somehow mess this up Let's roll out, let's roll out. Come back across, fire to Ayuk, touchdown. What a play by Trey Lance right there. It's on the money, and Ayuk has his first touchdown in the Super Bowl. Lance made up for his one bad throw. He made up for it. Let's see. Can the Chiefs move the ball down the field? No, they cannot. That is the game. We win the Super Bowl right there. That was a grinder. Elijah Mitchell, he was on fire. Trey Lance, he made a ton of good plays. Trent Sherfield, great catch downfield. That is everything we needed to see, and I am super happy about it. This team is going to be good. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to keep watching them this year. Thank you guys so much for clicking on the video. I really do appreciate the support so much. Uh, I hope you guys keep clicking on them. I'm going to keep putting videos out all the time. And, uh, yeah, please like and subscribe for more stuff coming out soon. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace, guys.